In this video, let's take a look at how to build our contact form here. So I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to look for the form area. So this is the form. I'm going to draw on an empty space in my layer here. Now I'm going to change the size of it. So the size of it is going to be 634. 634 by 574 pixels and I'm going to change the position of it. So the position is going to be 10 by 473 pixels. So let me just click on it and um, set the position to 10 by 437, uh, 473 pixels. Now I'm going to come back to my toolbox this time around. Let me just get rid of this. Scroll to the um, form section. So I have my form over here. The first on the list is going to be a radio button. So let me select my radio button. This is my first radio button. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to use it for four times. So I put that here. And I'm going to paste it for the last time. I'm going to get the positions for the radio button. So the first radio button is going to be 19 by 486 pixels. Let me just do that. Let me get for the second one. That is going to be 143 by 486 pixels. Just do that here. And the third one is going to be 265 by 4 eight six pixels and the last one is going to be three eight seven by four eight six pixels so that is it let me just come back to my toolbox the next i'm going to click on is the label so i'm going to select the label draw here i'm going to change the test in the label to complaints so let me just paste my complaint here i'm going to go to styles and i'm going to change the black test color here to my gray here let me just select this gray and i'm going to take away the radius as well as i'll make sure i don't have any border so i'm going to change the border to zero and i'm going to change the size of my um, complaints um, label here to 110 by 26 pixels and i'm going to change the position of it so the position is going to be 41 by 483 pixels and i'm going to copy this and paste that in here i'm going to change the test in it to problem so let me just paste that there let me get a position for it so the position is going to be 165 by 483 pixels let me just do that copy this one paste it in here let me just get a test for it so the test is going to be suggestions let me just paste that here click on ok let me get a position for it. So the position is going to be 287 by our 483 pixels. Let me get the last one. So I'll copy and paste that in here. The test is going to be praise. Let me just uh, paste that here and get a position for it. So the position is going to be 409 by 483 pixels. Let me click on OK and um, change that. So that is it for our radio buttons. Now the next is going to be a test here so let me just copy the test and paste it in here and i'm going to change the position for that particular test so the position is going to be 21 by 523 pixels it says what about s do you want to comment on next is going to be a combo box so i'm going to go to my two box i'll look for the combo box i'll draw here let me get a right size for it the size is going to be 110 by 30 pixels let me change the position of it so the position is 21 21 by 555 pixels now let me double click on it and get the actual um test which is supposed to be in a combo box so the first one is going to be employees to do that i'll click on add And I'll copy this one. That is going to be the same for the value. The next one is going to be company. Use that for the value. The next one is going to be product. Paste that for the value. Now the next one is going to be website. And the last one is going to be other. So let me just put that in a bracket. Copy it and I'll paste that in here. I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'm going to go to styles to make sure I have my rightful properties here. So I'm going to change this one to zero. 
I only need a border for it and I'm going to I think I'm going to leave it as it is over here let me just change the color of the text from the black to the gray I have in here and go ahead and click on OK now the next is going to be an edit field to get an edit field let me just come back to my two box and I'm going to look for the edit box draw here I'm going to get a size for it so the size is going to be one um, let me just get a size for it the size is going to be 402 by 30 pixels now I'm going to move it into this particular forms, um, the form area. Let me change the position for it. So the position is going to be 198 by 555 pixels. And let me go ahead and change the properties of it. So I double click on it. I'm going to go to styles and I'll make sure I take away my radius, which is going to be zero. Now the color, I prefer using gray. And I think that is all I have to do over here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. But I need a label for my edit box here. So I'm going to copy this label. I'll paste it here. Let me get the actual size for it. So the size is going to be 53 by 26 pixels. I'm going to change the test in my label. So I'm going to double click and let's paste the test. And this time around, it's going to be aligned to the right instead of the left hand side so I double click on it and I come to my test I have in here let me just get that from the final thing so I'll come back to general and set the alignment to right instead of left I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'm going to set the position for it so I'll go ahead and set the position to 145 by 557 pixels and that is it over here. Now I'm going to double click back in this edit um, box I have here. Now the placeholder is going to be other and some three dots here. Now I'm going to make sure I set a pattern of about 10 pixels to the left hand side and I'll go ahead and click on OK. So that is for the edit box and um, let me just decrease the 10 to about um, 6 pixels seven is okay i'll go ahead and click on okay now the next is going to be a test let me just copy that from the final project and i'm going to paste that here i'm going to set the position for it that is 21 by 599 pixels let me just do that i'll go ahead and click on okay now i'm going to get a that is a text area which is this one i'll draw here i'm going to set the size of it to five seven um nine by one six seven let me just move it into this particular form section now i'm going to change the position to 21 by 630 i'm going to double click on this come to styles i'll make sure i take away my radius and uh, i think i'm going to maintain a border for it let me just get rid of okay so my radius is out let me just get um, the font color to be gray instead of the black i'll go ahead and click on ok now I'll come back and change uh, i'll insert a placeholder where i'm going to input in comments and i'm going to add my three dots i'll come to pattern and set a pattern of seven pixels to the left i'll go ahead and click on ok now i'm supposed to add another test so let me just copy that test from the final project so i'm going to put that test in here and I'm going to change the position for the test. So the test is going to be 21 by 809 pixels. Um, yeah. And I'm going to, uh, I think that is it for that particular section. Now I'm going to bring in another edit box. So let me just copy this and copy this. Paste it in here. I'm going to change the size of the new edit box I have in here to... 526 by 30 pixels and I'm going to change the position for it to 74 by 837 pixels. Let me just move this a little bit to the left hand side and I'm going to change the size for it. So the size is going to be, I think the size is going to be the same. I'd rather change the content in it. So I'm going to copy what I'm going to put in it, I'll double click in it and paste it. So that is going to be name. So this field is going to contain the name field. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me set a position for it. So the position is going to be 21 by um, 839. So that is it I have over here. Now let me just copy this, paste it at the bottom, and I'm going to paste it one more time. So I'm going to double click and let's change the other to name. And uh, let me add my three dots. 
and click on OK. The next one is going to be email. And the last one is going to be telephone. Let me just undo this and um, telephone. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me do the same to change the label test. So I'm going to change this one to email and I'm going to change the last one to tell. So let me just copy it from the final project and paste it in here. Now I'm going to get the actual position for the two more. Um, that is this particular edit box and uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the label I have here. Let me just change that and I'm going to do it for the last edit box. So this is it. Let me just paste the position. Let me get for the tail. I saw that is a tail label and I'm going to do it um, for that one too. So that is it. There is one more radio button I'm going to need. Let me just copy this radio button. I'm going to paste it at the bottom here. Now I'm going to copy the radio test that is the label for it and I'm going to put that over here. Now I'm going to change the position of it. So the position is going to be 41 by 953 and I'm going to change the radio button position. So I'm going to change this one to 19 by 956 and um, what I'm supposed to do next is to bring in a button here that is a submit button. So I'm going to come draw here and I'm going to change the size of my button here. So the size is going to be 96 by 35 pixels and I'm going to change the position of it. So the position is going to be 28 by 994 pixels and I'll double click on it and change the color of my button here. So the color is going to be, let me just click on the drop down arrow and select this blue, select this blue for the border as well. Now let me just reduce the radius to about two pixels. Go ahead and click on OK. Okay, so I'm done um, in designing my contact form. Now, what we are supposed to do next is supposed to, uh, we are supposed to rename most of the objects we have in here. So to configure our radio buttons, we are supposed to rename our object. So we are going to start with our radio button itself. So I'm going to copy the names or the IDs I'll be using for them. So this is going to be radio complaint button and the uh, the label is going to be complaints label. So let me just paste that here. I'm going to do that for the problems radio button here. And I'm going to get the one for the label as well. Just um, I think I got this closer. I move it some few pixels away. Let me do this um, for the suggestions as well. So the such. Um, we have for the suggestions um, radio and uh, we have for the suggestion label we have for the praise just do that here and um, let me just get for the just move this few pixels away and um, let me just change this one to problem label now the reason why we are renaming these objects is because we want a situation whereby we configure this label to this particular radio um, button we have here. And to show you what I mean, I'll double click on this. And if I, um, let me just cancel this and rather double click on the label. Now when we come to this, the label we have here, we are supposed to select an object out of our contact um, form areas. That is going to be for that particular um, label. So we click on the drop down arrow and since um, the first on the list is complaint radio, I'm going to select complaint radio. So in a case where someone submits this form and the person checks here, it means that the person has checked for complaint and this is what is going to be submitted to the email address or the distant, the, yeah, the email address you configure this form with. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to do it for this one. So this is going to be problem radio. So I look for problem radio. I'll click on OK. I'll double click on suggestions and I'm going to look for suggestions radio. So that is what I have here. I'm going to do that for praise as well. So that is praise radio. 
I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to come to this section and I'm going to do the same for this section. So I'm going to change this to, let me just get a name from the final project. So this is going to be name field. The next one is going to be email field. And the last one is going to be tail field. So let me just click on it and change this to tail field. So when I double click on the name label, let me first set the alignment to the left and come to four and I'm going to select that is the name field. So the first one is name field and I'm going to double click on the second one, which is the email field. Set the alignment to left and I'm going to select email field. And the last one is also going to be aligned to the left and uh, that one is also going to be tail field. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I have another radio button over here. So let me just get the appropriate name for it. I'll click on OK. I select the name for it and I'll come here. Let me just paste the name for it that is allow and the label is going to be yes label. So let me just click on the label and I'm going to paste. OK, I think I already have the yes label because I copied it from the final project. I'm going to click on the label and I'm going to select allow. So that is it for um, the radio button over here. Now we want a situation whereby when our form is filled and submitted, all this is supposed to be arranged in order. And to do that, let me show you something in the object manager. When we come to object manager, when we click on submit, that is supposed to be the last 10, which is I'm showing over here, but our form is actually not arranged in any order. So let's go ahead to do that. Now to do that, right, click on the last um, object in your form. Go to, um, that is, a, right, click on it and select move to back. So do this for all the objects in a certain order so that you don't miss any of the others over here. So I did for this, I have done for this, I'm going to do for this. I'm going to repeat it for this right click i'm going to do for this i'm going to do for this one i'm going to do it for this one and i'm repeating it for this i'll continue with this one now the test doesn't really matter it's not actually part of our form so i'll continue to this and i'll continue with this one let me just do it for this one and i'm going to do it for the combo box now continue doing it for this that's a radio buttons the label of it and as well as the radio button itself i'm going to repeat it for this one right click on this one repeat it and um, do it for this one and i'm going to do it for this one now when we are done we want a situation whereby we'll be able to use the tab key on our keyboard to control our form so to do that double click on your radio button and um, where you have the access key that is the first on the list so it's going to be one the tab index is also going to be one. So the tab index is actually when you want to use the tab key on your keyboard to control the form. So the next one is going to be two and two. But before I continue, let me just show you how it's going to be like if we don't set the actual tab index. So let's, um, we have our form over here. When I click on this and I hit on this, I hit on the tab key, you realize it's not giving me any um, specific, um, or field or object I'm supposed to use. It looks like we have a border here. Let's take away our border. So if we come back to our project. The actual size of our form is um that is a uh, six three four by five seven four. Let me just double click on this. Come to styles and make sure I take away my border and make this one none. It's going to reduce the size of our form area because we took away the border. The border is being applied to the top the right, the left, and the bottom. Now, as you can see, the size of our area change. So let's change it back to the default size. So we have that done. Now let's continue to set our tab index. So the tab index, since um, the tab is going to control the radio, and this is just a label which is controlling this radio. We don't, there's no need to set any tab index for the label. So we are going to do it for the next radio, which is going to be three. I'm going to change the um, praise to four. Let me just make this four. I'm going to come to employee. That's the combo box, which is going to be five. And the title, I'll take it away. The tab index is going to be five. Now, the other is going to be six. So, access key is six. Tab index is going to be six. 
I'll come to the comment which is going to be 7 and the tab index is going to be 7. I'll come to the name field which is going to be 8 and um, tab index 8. The email field is going to be 9 and the telephone field is going to be 10. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to set 11 for the radio button I have there and I'm going to select I'm going to set 12 for the button itself. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let's preview this in our browser and take a look at what I actually meant by using um, setting the tab index. So when I click on this and I hit on the tab key, you realize what happened. It's actually switching me through the various field accordingly. I think we are supposed to, okay, because it's a radio field, you are supposed to click to get it enabled. But when we start from here and I click on the, I tap on the tab key on my keyboard, it's actually taking me accordingly. So that is what we actually wanted. Now let's come back to our project and let's double click in our form area. When you double click in your form area, enable use built in PHP form processor script. And what you're supposed to do here is to set your email address. That's um, the email address you want this form to be submitted to. And we are supposed to set a success page and an error page. We will take a look at that in the next video. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. But before I leave this um, form, I am supposed to change the extension of this particular page. Because we are using script or we are using form in over here, scripts are going to be used. So we are going to right click on an empty space, go to page properties and change the file extension from HTML to php go ahead and click on ok so that is it for the contact um, s page